Hi everyone, welcome again to another Chaos Africa meeting. Hope your day is going great. Um, yeah, um, Chidal will help us facilitate today. Um, uh, yeah, you can share your screen now. Hey, I am doing that now. Please let me know if you guys can see my screen. Yes, we can. Thank you. All right. Hi, everybody. Good afternoon and welcome to another Africa meeting. Uh, so I guess we'll start by entering our names. If you also, if you're a newcomer, please say hi so that we can welcome you. We can give you the chaotic welcome. The chaotic welcome. Say hi. I don't know, Joy. I don't think I. Is Joy a newcomer? Joy, are you new? Because I don't think I've actually met you before, like any meeting. I don't Joy, consider I myself new, new. Just like my second time of joining. So. Oh, oh all right. That's fine. Okay. 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 Hi, Joy. Blessing. I don't think Blessing is new. Uh, I don't think we have any newcomer today. Uh, all right. Well, welcome newbies and old members of Chaos. So the next the next item on the agenda. Also, you guys should like please enter your names. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is um, the developers focus group updates. So who is going to give us update on that? Who's going to speak on that? Oh, hi Adinka. Equina Moma, can you hear me? Hello, everyone. Can you guys hear me? Or is it just? I can hear you. All right, um, you must care. I'm very good. Hi, everyone. Um, so, so, so far, I, I think I would like to like, uh, Report to what I think is a problem. I don't know um, if uh, I would consider it a general problem, but at least a problem for most that has cost the budget board to, uh, like we have, uh, we've had a pause, like there is really nothing going on in the developers um, focus group for now. So number one is the issue of the meeting time. So I had a talk with him now some time ago and he said, that meeting time was not um, convenient, which is um, 10 a.m. on Tuesdays. There's a need to uh, kind of like reschedule that um, time. But most people that actually replied to my post on whether to change or not voted for that 10 a.m. So if there's this kind of conflict and then while there is a need for maintenance for the budget board, I, I don't know so much about the stack board yet because I know that pressures are, uh, Abubaka is um, really doing well in that area. So I, I'm not so sure she is looking for maintenance, but I'm aware that Enoch is looking for maintenance for the budget website and the budget board. So um, while there is a need, I feel that people are at a loss or for where to even start. And me personally, while I'm even trying to rally around people, I still have a little issue even trying to contribute to the budget booth because um, while I understand the source code and um, how I can even come in, there are some things that I have not been able to figure out which is um, how, how I'm going to test and all that. So I was thinking a demo session was going to be good and I've not been able to reach Enoch. So I reached out to um, someone I felt could um, understand or somebody who had understand, understood, sorry, um, the budget board. Uh, I reached out to Desmond Obisi and he said yeah. that um, it would actually it could actually take us through a demo session to see how the budget board works and how you can actually contribute by actually demonstrating for us. I think that would be very good if we can then get it recorded so that people can know. Then if we can have a 
tutorial also on steps to take. Okay, so when you when you put the um, shelf script in your terminal, this is what you to expect and all that and all that, then take you through that step. So if you are running into any error or any trouble, you know what step is causing it and all that. So it, it's just kind of vague right now. And even for the documentation on the budget board, there are still some um, links that are not um, the right links in the, in the documentation. So I feel kind of stuck personally. Uh, I don't know um, how to proceed from there. So I don't know what next to do here, um, Ruth. If any, if any, if any other person is a developer on the call, you can as well please pick up and maybe we could find a solution together. Sorry, I I can't hear you clearly. I'm, I'm I don't know if it's just me. Uh sorry, I left my earpiece at home today. And... Oh okay, okay. It's better. Yeah. Okay, I just came for that. Well, I, I'm one of the developers as well, but like I'm not contributing to badging bots. I'm contributing to the um in badging websites. But like I reached out to Enoch yesterday because um, I was having an issue. And again, I also feel like you've not really been doing anything like that. But like I had an issue with one PR I created and I reached out to him and he assisted me today, but like I'm still waiting for feedback though from him. Also, I also wanted to say you're not the only person that feels like, um, like stuck, like I'm not doing anything. I just lost, I actually felt like the project was on, on the hold or something like that, on hold, sorry. Something mm -hmm. like that, yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, thank you so much for this feedback. Um, and, and yeah, I apologize for the, and, and again, I see you do, you're doing a lot of good work for trying to facilitate that good. Um, a couple of things, um, and, this is not making excuses, but kind of um in on this part of Enoch um being origin, we have had like some network issues uh, for a while now. Um and yeah, so that that contributed to you being in the Um and secondly, um there's there's a there's a whole lot on the list of things that he does. Um so sometimes um meeting up with um meetings right and we are currently we are trying to wrap up a project the project budget um so that's also like taking a lot of time so i think now now we have interest i think in the past maybe two months ago that said like there's no interest like interest um rate is not so much or maybe people are not showing sure up but now we have interest from people and then there are people that are willing to take up like um the tax but now Enoch has to also like lead them through so that they can also lead others if, if you get what I'm saying. So um I will I have a chat with Enoch to see how we can I think this demo session that you have talked about or a workshop a recorded one will work in the case where he's not available so that other people can like say for example now you and Danica can learn the process and help um help be available for others right I know it's not a good for right now but um I Enoch has been maintaining it for a while so it's I, I wouldn't be fair to just um, you know, put everything on him. But while while we are trying to remove some tax from him, let's um find ways that we can um work with um his availability too, right? So I will find a way to sort through this with him. Um, okay. And let's go. But thank you very much. The meeting. So um, uh, thank you, Ruth. I I just okay. Okay, please, I just want to add that um, 
Enoch has actually taken us through um, the budget project. Because if you go to one of the recording sessions I shared on the focus group, I went through it and I understand the, should I say the architecture, the structure of the project. But um, the, where I'm having issue is, okay, uh, the contribution itself. So if I want to, getting it to even work on my local system, you know, not, not everybody understands how a GitHub app works and all that. So that's why I'm, it's not as if Enoch is not trying at all. He, he has tried, he has even recorded the session. But um, after so going through that, is, now, is what to actually okay. what are the things that we can contribute? So, so the 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 thing that I feel is lacking is a demonstration session. So if you can what actually you see, okay, right. Sorry, what What's, did you say? What's a demonstration session? Um, like in okay, compared, you remember the he recorded what he did. Okay. You remember the, the webinar series that we had, the first um, webinar series? Okay, the one where, first, time. first time contribution. You remember mm -hmm. that you actually, um, that, that's a demo session where you are able to take us through the steps of contributing. People and can then, literally write it down, right? So that was, I'm also thinking, okay, can you show us how you open an issue, um, how you are able to, it's not the process, it's not the GitHub workflow that I'm talking about. It's about the fact mm -hmm. that you have to actually make a GitHub hub. You have to develop, um, sorry, you have to create a GitHub hub on, on your own um, repo or your own account. Then you have to um, use a SME.io and all that. So there is a lot of technicality that is involved. So if we can actually take people through that process, and people see how they can actually um, go through those processes. Then they can now start thinking of, okay, I, this is how I can contribute. But the process of creating a GitHub hub and um, getting it to work on your local system, I, I feel that that knowledge gap is missing. And I tried to look for it by myself. I went on YouTube, tried to see how AutoKit work and all that. And I've not been able to get a complete um, good um, video that could take me through to represent the okay. kind of um, application that okay, we okay. have. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is something we can also, um, I can also uh, talk to you know, about doing that demonstration session. And about the existing issues that I know there are some issues that are there. What you, What's your thoughts on like the existing issues that are there? Are there things that are too complex or are they... No, 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 no. If you understand how the uh, what what the structure of the project is, that you the the repo has to the the GitHub Hub has to listen to events going on in the um, events diversity and um, inclusion repo. If you understand that process, then you know okay, there is an issue that is going on, or we can improve on the uh, workflow of the GitHub Hub so that we can improve the automation process and all. If you understand how it works generally, you won't have problem contributing. But so um, there are issues that have not been attended to. But they exactly. Can be, and, can be yes, fixed. and some people have even worked on the bot script and badging bots, but Enoch has not been available to, to match the pull request. Because okay, there are there, some requests there. Okay. Mm -hmm. For instance, for the bot script now, I know Wachiko has done something on the on the bot script that it can't proceed unless um, the one he has done is being matched. So okay. uh -huh, we are really waiting on Hinok to also fix that. Okay, okay great. Um, and I can understand him. He said he needs maintainers. He's the only one working on about six to seven projects. I think that's too much for just one person. So, but mm -hmm. if you can, like an apprenticeship thing, you can take us through, oh, this is how you go about it. This is how you do it. I think we have more people coming up to help him. Okay, that's great. Thank you for this insight. I wasn't really aware of all this. Oh. Um, yeah, you have a hand ringing. Yes, I'm actually trying to clear, uh, get at a question from what she was saying. Okay. She was talking about getting uh, GitHub to, 
a local machine. Are you talking about cloning it to work on your, on your, uh, let's say on your editor? Are you talking about cloning the project to work on your editor? No, I'm no, no, it's not, no, it's not cloning. That's why I said that I'm not talking about the GitHub workflow where you fork a repo, you clone. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that um, for app app automation, you know that you have to, first of all, create a GitHub app. Okay. Then once you fork the repo and clone it to your local system, mm -hmm. you have to listen to the event by creating a web book on Smith or High Hope. Right, okay. and then you have to have this um, your payload, your ID, and all that without going into to, to all the details. So there are some steps that are missing that I really don't know that is missing for me. I reached out to people that I think can help, but they are not available right now because he said he wasn't feeling too well. But I'm thinking if I am having that issue, I am sure that some other people too are having that issue. Okay. So if, 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 in fact, it doesn't have to be Hinock. If you can find any other developer who can do that, that's why I posted yesterday in our focus group that has anyone been able to contribute successfully to the budget board? If you have been able to, then you can take us through the demo session. It doesn't have to be Hinock. But right now, the only person that we know that is really, really, that has to be available is Hinock because he's the maintainer. Right. Okay. I think I think we can like mm -hmm. that are where um for example you and I, I think Faith as well um you know has worked with you know with the budgets um budget bots so um I think that's we we can pay that ladder and help you you both kind of like receive some of the work from you know for the budget mm -hmm. work, right for the budget website I you know Tochuku Tochuku is also a maintainer there. So I think I'll have to, instead of speaking to you know about the budget website, I'll speak with um Tochuku to see how we can move things for that. Like I said, um the project budget um on that that project has taken a lot from from us. Like it's it's been in development. So Tochuku is also involved there. So I can imagine that that's why like for the budget website, that's why some things pause. The event budget website. That's why some things paused because um they were all busy on that on that end. So yeah, so let's um I think an actual item for me to kind of talk with them over the next couple of weeks to see how we can create like um in in ladder to help you um I think so you are you are the card to go up to that maintainer level and you know help others because I'm, I'm trying to see how we can reduce the workload um okay um are there any more questions um we can go ahead um okay so i guess no more questions thank you adinka so the next item will be uh, the community manager's engagement. May we bless him, my boss. Is, sorry, is she on the call? Is yeah. Mary Blessing on the call? I don't think Mary Is there anybody that wants to take no, that? No, no, is there any, okay. Is there anyone that wants to take that? I think what Mary Blessing can, if I go to that link, she has created a list of content idea. So um I think over the last meeting we're trying to um you can go yeah this is the one you can, like we're trying to see how we can you know make the, that community management group active. So um last week I, I think she shared this in the community management channel as well. She created like some ideas that we can help um that the community managers in the group can post um every day to help like motivate people to chat in the channel to help like engage people in the channel. So she has already um created the different content types. So I think the feedback I gave to her was to kind of assign people um to do these different things so that it's it, the work spreads around, right? So I don't I don't think she has done that yet. I know there are a couple of people that are, indicated interest so you can accept if you can accept everybody can accept this link 
you can you know put in your name there down the documents like um if you want to do one it's just um you know crafting is a a message based on I don't think just tagged them by maybe Monday Tuesday each of them Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday there are different things sure but I don't think just tag them per day so you can take one thing that you want to post um with your I think. I think you would coordinate that better. But if you want to champion like different posting content, you can write your name under that section of champion so that means let me not reach out to you. And I think this is more for um for the community managers that we have, right? So you can put your name there and then reach out to Mary Blessing so that we can make the the channel active because it's it gives a lot of value when the channel is active. So Right. Um. So, any do you guys questions? have any questions? Yeah. Any questions? Any questions? I I guess no. Nobody has any questions. But like, if you're a community manager, please please reach out to me. Blessing for like more information and stuff. Okay, thank you. So the next one is the social media engagement. Anybody? Okay. Oh, she not. Oh, she no. I don't think she's on the call. No, she's not on the call. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this week, how many people? Everybody should have should follow Chaos Africa, right? If you're not following us, you are wrong. Oh, <laughs> right. with Anna. Thank you. This week, we we um started making the channel active um that channel active because we've been holding back for a long time so I I think I don't know how that document um hold on let me find the sheet let me find the sheet and paste it. The one on the channel, yeah. Okay. So if you see, if you look at the go to September, is it September? No, it's not September. No. Then in September on the bottom, the next sheet. So if you see that everything like um, different content, um, so if you love to, you know, help us create social content as well, um, you can engage with this and help us like create social content because making that um Twitter active where you know educating our audience so that's something that um Oluchi has been working on so far. I think this is not updated like for next week you see so and so this content this content style that's going to be following this content style as well like on um an open source article. We take we took up this code part. I don't think she has updated it. So um once you update it, if you also want to like help do this, it'll be great. Um yeah, any questions? Anybody that wants to volunteer for this as well? Um each of my yes. Hello, um, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Um. If if I want to like maybe write an article or maybe take up one of the contents there, how do I go about it? Do I need to reach out to someone or just 
indicate on the yeah, sheet. When you write an article, do you mean write a, a personal article that we want to share or no? Like, yes, no, about? just just from the content. Like I saw one that said write an article about open source leaders about you know no just like pick pick one of the topics and do an extensive research and write about it. Okay. So I'm just asking. Yeah, that, that's a good question. But um, for this social content, to be sharing existing articles, I think it's really should type it. If you see there's a link, these are existing articles. There's a link. Oh. Like, yeah, there's a link there. But talking about writing content for Chaos Africa, that's something I you know I've been thinking about. And I think I've discussed this with Eludino before, if we can have our own blog. Um, but... So far, I've been thinking about still using the chaos blog to, to post, or maybe having our own blog on hash node and still cross posting on the chaos blog because um I think that chaos blog already has um the traffic of chaos community members and external people. So it would make more sense to continue using the chaos blog. But for that, I think maybe in the next meeting we can talk about, I think that would be for the technical writers because we can talk about article creation. I'm guessing you're a technical writer. All right. Right? All right, thank you. Okay. Sure. I do. Um, Are you a technical writer? Yeah, I just started. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's nice. Also, if you people know anybody that you can convince, if you if you have um, people that are into social media that you can convince to come and help us, to come and join the community, that would be nice as well. Thank you. Thank you, guys. So, like, uh, our partnership with Angola, Angola Open Source. And I see Isaac has uh, um, Jacob, brother. That's Andre. Oh, no. oh, okay. Sorry, my bad. Jacob, hi. Hello, um, good afternoon, everybody. Um, so, um, my question is around the where that document is around the social media content. So, if for example, I'm, I would like to take on like Monday's quote and announcement, so and then there's a design for it, is it that? I will design and then the content uh, with the content and submit or how is it um how does it happen? Okay, um great question. So that first that quote idea, I, I cannot speak off. She has to like update that because then um, the quotes I would not the where she where it came from, like I wasn't sure it was like a a, a valid site or something. But in the case where, for example, you want to contribute to create content, we already have a design team, right? And this is kind of what I also discussed with her, work with the design okay. team to create most of these things, because I believe that having a graphic that goes with most of these things make it um, you know, more yeah. appealing to the audience, right? Yeah. So um, the flow is main, mainly on the social media part is creating the content. Say, for example, um, in week two, we know every Monday we share articles, right? On every Monday. So ahead of if in Monday, you find a very interesting article that you know that um our audience, which are mainly open source contributors, people that are already contributing or um getting started or have not even contributed, right? That's our audience, that's our Twitter audience, right? Um, you have like an article ahead of time, you create a content that kind of shares what that article is about in the um, limit of characters we have and you know, put it on this place and I review. And then the design okay. team, if you are in design as well, right? Then the design team will you know, create maybe something like a graphic and then she tweets it, um, although she would you know, schedule it to go out on Monday. So it's mainly for the kind of contribution we're looking for here is mainly for content. And then there's also a design team that we can pass, pass requests for graphics for, like requests right. for graphics for each of these. So that's mainly oh. like, that's basically true. 
but you can reach out to all okay. Um, okay. Tell you. That. Thank you. Um, Kinsley. Yeah, thank you. Hi, everyone. Good evening. Yeah, so, um, so I, I just want to make a comment on design that um, design, of course, I'll go with the post. Um, if the content okay, came, I, I think I can just I don't change know what you mean. Right? I can't hear you clearly. Hello. Yeah, your voice is low, so I don't know. Call you. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, so I was saying um for for the content team, so I, I don't know I think I've seen the spreadsheet and the there should be a schedule for this, right? Things and also of course you know the design has to, the just, design team has to work on the design first. And that also implies that um, you need to get the date and the content ahead of when it's being posted. It could be like maybe three to four days ahead. It's not so bad. Um, it's open source. Of course, the designers have to probably have some time to work on this stuff, something suitable. Um, so I don't really know the present charge of the content of things. So because I also need this to create open up the issues on uh this Africa project on GitHub. So designers who are interested in working on it will just pick it up from there. Okay, so I'm going to struggle. So I thought yeah. I didn't hear it clearly, but I think what what I got from what you're saying is that um for the content um as they're creating it, they should give you um like design team time to like three to four days. To be able to design something and not just be like a urgent request, right? That's what yeah. you said. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Um, I think we should work on doing that. Um, I know this week, we started this week, so things were like a lot of them have been going out without design. So the next week could be better. Um thank you for giving that up. Like, can I ask a question? Is there a case Is there any form through which they will make request? Sorry. I was asking it was for a case leak. Is there any form or any thing like a request form? So this four days or we'll be able to work for them. Like, how do they make request if they need? This thing, um, sorry, I just want to know. I I, I don't get like request for what exactly. Sorry, I, request, well, I, keep, I think we're actually for design. Now. They need it's like this graphic to be ready. Is, is there any way? I don't know. So, um, I, I think. Kinsley had brought up a conversation about opening up um, a design repository. So initially, if you see the last of the agenda, I, I, I put something about using Chaos Africa GitHub repository. And that's something I want to kind of bring to our attention, right? Um, while we don't have like a design design um design repository yet, I want us to actively start using the Chaos Africa GitHub repository to open issues and all that thing. So I think a request like this should go in the GitHub, the GitHub repository. I'm also trying to um organize that repository um to put in tags so that people can put the appropriate tags, like maybe design request, if it's a, a documentation, if it's an idea for the community, something like in social media. Um, engagement now it's supposed to like an issue is supposed to be there so that we are able to um see how many people are contributing to it people are able to track their contributions as well i think in the last the last meeting or i think the one before that one i shared like this like, platform where you can see your github footprint so those things are kind of important as well like so um i think i'll talk about that down the 
towards the end of the conversation, but this this something we can use the repository to try to do this. In the usual way, I've yeah, this like, answered my question. Yeah, it has been on the channel. Like people just copy the requests on the channel, so that's what has happened. Here, where like people copy the requests um on the design channel. In the yeah, so uh, you made the point. Um, well, I'm really particular about having a specific um repository, maybe not on sale, maybe what we have is really overwhelmed, and then there's need to have a specific uh, repo for designers. But for now, I, I think um, uh, what the content uh, person, maintainer can do is uh, open up those issues on uh, Kios Africa repo, right? And of course, assign design levels to, of course, you can add the content in the issue description, then assign design levels to it and stuff so that um, during uh, calls, I think every Wednesday by weekly we also have design calls, right? So I can also point designers to the repo to pick up those designs so I can point it to them from Slack to go work on. The issues with always dropping things on Slack is sometimes people just get to miss the stuff and all that. So um so I, I think yeah, let's just take advantage of uh repository. I think it is fast, it's one of the fastest ways to get to show people what we have open issues to work on, especially people that are not really like active members of the community and maybe just want to contribute to the project and then move on. Okay. Yeah, I would work on that and towards the design repository, something I will talk about later as well. Um and get that started. Um, okay. All right. Okay. Any more questions? Any more questions? Yes. No more questions. So the partnership with Angola opens. Okay. I think I'm with you. My boss. I know you think that one. Yeah. Sorry. Please. Please. Can I? Before we go on, can I ask a question relating to the GitHub Africa? The Chaos Africa GitHub repo. Yes, sure. Yeah, so I wanted to ask if, for instance, an idea comes and you want to raise an issue on the, the budget board. So is it going to be on the budget board um, repo that you should create the issue or on Chaos Africa GitHub repo? Okay, that, that's a very good question. Um. Originally, right, the budget board is not, it doesn't really fall under the Chaos Africa project. Um, but why I would, you know, want it to also be replicated in that Chaos Africa so that there are things that we are working on. It might not be that, okay, this is, this also like, these are things we are working on. Say, for example, the technical writers, they're trying to improve the, the documentation on the budget bots, right? They will open up that issue. I, I think when this thing is set up and maybe I do a demo, it would make more sense, right? But it's just um trying to track all the different things that the Chaos Africa community is doing, right? That what are the things we are engaged in. So that's why I really want um those different things to show up in that repository as issues. Um, it might not lead the issue might not lead to pull requests on that repository, but having a record of it there would make sense to kind of track all the different things that we work on as we keep going, right? Um, ideas as well are things that we can open up. If you have an idea on how to improve a working group or how to a new project that we can work on, you can open it there and also replicate it on the the main project like for example for the budget boards where the pull request will go to. So but I, I think I would work on this and, and then this is even talking about it now. Like I need also people that are willing to like you know set things up in that repository so that like like issue templates, PR templates, uh labels, you know all those kind of things. So yeah. I don't know. Okay. Yes, thank you very much. 
right? Yeah, okay. So, okay. Uh, I think I can talk about the Propel and the mm -hmm. Angola partnership. And it's something exciting I'm excited about. So this um month, not this morning. Um we have two new no no let me not say two new the, the first one is confirmed that the Angola Angola one, but the Propel one is um still something we're working through is have this in English perspective or not confirmed yet. Um so for the um partnership with Angola Open Source Community, um so Angola Open Source Community is a community based in Angola that's helping Angolans kind of contribute to open source and use open source to better their careers. So we're going to be partnering with them for their program in October. It's like they are, they're having a hackathon um in October for October Fest, um in celebration of October Fest. And if you're not familiar with October Fest, October Fest is um a month-long celebration of open source um organized by Digital Ocean. So Angola Open Source Community and Chaos Africa is going to partner with that to run the hackathon. It's going to be interesting and um I will travel in for it though. Um fingers crossed. Um, but we're going to be running a hackathon. Um, and I was kind of looking out for like maybe three people that you know can help plan this. Like it's a collaboration together, so we're going to be working with them to plan it. So um, maybe two or three people that would want to work on this. Um, kind of like a small team that want to do work through this and uh, ensure that the partnership is a success. But, uh, my, yeah, you can put your name on that, like that um, on, the, on the document. I can reach out to you later um, to talk through this for where we would be running the hackathon with them. Um, I'm going to be interested in Angola. Um, it's going to be virtual as well. They're going to stream it. You can also attend. Um yeah, so that's about the partnership with Angola Open Source Community. Any questions or um people Vito peculiar? Hi. I think this is just start on the yeah, like add another bullet or something. If I've cleaned the community. Um any questions or any Okay, I guess there are no questions. Um, so I'll reach out to the people that I get an interest so we can um work towards making the partnership be successful. And then with the one we propel, it's what if we reach out to you, like in your DM. I am mostly like all right. I guess taking yeah and the rest. I guess you guys can reach out to her in her DM so you know scatter. <laughs> And somebody can help arrange it. Um, but the one for Propel is something that we haven't confirmed yet, but it's a potential potential partnership. I don't know if you know Propel the with Propel.com. You can go to that URL. So they help match African talents with um remote opportunities. So we're going to be potentially partnering with them, um, you know, having a chaos dashboard and you can apply for jobs on their um on their platform. Um, but the, the partnership is not out next the next week I will or the next meeting I will confirm that it, it is done. But for now it's still a potential partnership. But the one for Angola open source community, we are settled on that. Um, yeah. Um, any questions? Um, yes, I do have a question about the partnership with Angola. Um, 
are you open to partnering with other communities or are you reserving uh, um, October 1st for just a yeah, like um, we're open to partnering with other communities and this is something that would push I don't know if there was if you were in the meeting where we shared like the roadmap goals and yeah. all that we were looking to do more things. Like, I'm really, really excited about this one with Angola Open Source Community because it's going to open up, like, um, you know, we're going to get more people from other African countries that will contribute to chaos and expand our goals. Yeah. Uh, people about open source and all that stuff. So, definitely open to partner with other communities. That's something that I'm chasing out for this year to expand the chaos community and, like, like bringing more people in other African countries. There's been more of partnerships. Um, I'm also like yeah. kind of conversations with industry as well, companies, any you know, that will push whatever we're doing forward. So I'm always reach out to you. Okay. All right. I'll I'll side chat you on another partnership I'd like us to explore. Love it. Okay. Um, great. Okay. Um, hi, Ruth. Yeah, sure. Okay, so um, I, I understand the proposal to be um, like I don't really understand the partnership you're explaining. Can you? Okay, the propel one. Do you mean the propel one? Yes. Um, yeah, propel. Can you go to with propel dot com? Like the URL. Huh? Um, okay. Are you talking to me? You're talking to me, bro. No, oh, let me let me just paste the uh, let me paste the URL. Alright, please do. Yeah. I can open it. It's like a they are like um a company that matches, you know, you are able to find job opportunities on their platform. So we're partnering with them. They have Kind of how they partner with communities to provide, um, you know, like a dashboard to communities and community members can sign up through them and get access to their job listings, apply for jobs through their platform, um, also get community they are, they have like these perks or like um discounts on some particular services, right? So um, this is this is how it will look like um. I don't know if you can. Can you go see my screen? Yeah, you can see your screen, but I don't even know how to explain. I don't know if you get what I'm saying, Jacob. Yeah, I understand. I understand because I, I know that um um what's it called? Oscar is also partnering with them, but as it relates yeah. to chaos. Yes, exactly. So they reached out to partner with us as well. Okay, all right, thank you. This is not this is not settled yet. Um still working through conversation. I just wanted to let you all know. All right. Let me be on DM soon. I'm okay. Um okay. Um all right. Um so we have like a few more minutes. Um I don't know, the GitHub copilot team, do you want to do kind of like a demo? Um, next meeting um, on what you're worked on. I'm excited to show that, but I don't want to do that right now. So like a demo next meeting. Next meeting is like next two weeks. So. Hi, Catherine. Um, Hi. Um, who's speaking? Is it Kingsley? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hi. <laughs> 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 Yeah, it's been so long since we spoke. Um, yeah, I think we can do that. Not I think we can do that demo next week. Um, Kingsley, I'd love you to do the demo for the design and then I can do the demo for how we implemented the design. What do you think? Um, no, or next week? No, next, um, not today. Next week. Next two meetings, like next two weeks. Yeah, it's fine. It's okay. Okay. Um. So the for the using chaos Africa repository GitHub repository topic, I think we already talked about it a lot. But I just wanted to, you know, um, 
I don't know. I'm trying to see how we can set up that repository so that people can open up issues. But right now, it is still. Let me find a link to it. It's still very empty. So I don't know if there are like the project management, the Edgar and Zayo. Do you want to work with me to set up that repository so that people can start using it to create issues, drop ideas? There are a lot of things in my head right now. Finding the repository. Hold on a sec. Trying to find the repository. Okay, so this is the repository thing. Well, I think I'm going to go to it. Yeah, so you see, it's still. No, I can. No, there are so many things that should be here. But like, there's so much, there's so much, I think. There's so much you can do, you know, you can also have like a project board like a lot of things so that we can you know make help people start contributing better and all so yeah i will chat with you because um, sorry, oh, on this but yeah this was just what i wanted to point us to that if you have any ideas um also always point back here to open up an issue can open up an issue or um to and tag me. And so I just want to point people that this is safe. Um, any questions? Any thoughts? What we could do? Okay. okay. Um, I think I should just add this. Hi, Ruth. Can I go ahead? So if you're a designer on the call, right? Um, uh, we have um, uh, Ruth. You can go back to the. Report. I think this go to the issue. So, sorry, no, like uh, issues. This thing, oh, issues. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay, so, so if you are a designer, um, so add the level to the first one, so and you're interested in contributing to a uh, uh, Chaos Africa brand style guide. So we have, uh, I think, categories like uh, the bond style, and um, I think a couple of other aspects we really want to to look into to create, you know, a style guide to help other contributors, you know, contribute to projects. So you can indicate interest there, and uh, maybe I will just share the a few other details you need to work with. So if you're design on the um, on this call. I think you can just head over to our repository and drop a comment. No comment is here there. Thank you. Okay. Um, thank, thank you. you. The, um, thank you. Then you can pick up that issue. Um, so any more questions or thoughts just before we post anything? Okay, no more. Thank you everyone for joining. Um, see you all next Thank you. Um, and we can yeah. see you All right. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye. 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 -bye.